the way from Venice to Croatia. So now we'll be driving through this uh, flat part of Italy. It's the uh, named after Venice, of course. It's going to be more flat area. You'll be, you will see a lot of vineyards. Uh, most of it, it's uh, white wine. Uh, uh, white Pinot and so on and there will be a lots of lots of poplar trees You'll see them. They are kind of uh, planted uh, in an organized way They use them for paper industry to produce paper because it's not a big quality tree So they plant it all around and then use it in paper industry This is what we're gonna see most of the time now in Italy in the distance the Dolomites the beautiful mountains and then very soon we will find ourselves in Slovenia, but we won't notice it because there is no border between Italy and Slovenia anymore. There is no border crossing. Uh, they are in European Union, in Schengen zone, but later uh, between Slovenia and Croatia, we do have a border and we need uh, our passports. So I remind you once more, we need to have our passports here on the bus. If there are some of you who left your passports down in the small luggage or in the big luggage, there will be opportunity to take it out. Hey guys, uh, we are in Opatia, O-P-A-T-I-J-A, -A, Opatia, Croatia. Beautiful scenery, you can see that. There's ocean, Adriatic Ocean, and the town is right bordering the ocean. Amazing view. And beautiful weather. It was rainy a little bit today morning, but not raining right now. Kashmira. Opatia. Opatia. बड़े अच्छे लगते हैं ये धरती ये सागर ये रहना और तुम बड़े अच्छे लगते हैं ये धरती ये नदियाँ ये रहना और तुम हम तुम कितने पास है कितने दूर है चाँद सितारे सच पूछो तो मन को झूठे लगते हैं ये सारे हम तुम कितने पास है कितने दूर है चांद सितारे सच पूछो तो मन को झूठे लगते हैं ये सारे मगर अच्छे लगते हैं ये धरती ये नदियाँ ये रहना और तुम मेरे घर का सीधा सा इतना पता है मेरे घर के आगे मोहब्बत लिखा है न दस्तक जरूरी न आवाज देना 
मैं सांसों की रफ्तार से जान लूँगी हवाओं की खुशबू से पहचान लूँगी तेरी धूल हूँ जो तेरा भूल हूँ दो तेरे आंचल का साया चुरा के है जीना है जीना जिंदगी ओ जिंदगी मेरे घर आना आना जिंदगी जिंदगी मेरे घर आना बड़े अच्छे लगते हैं ये धरती ये नदिया ये रहना और तुम थैंक यू गाइस आड़ा बड़े अच्छे लगते हैं ये धरती ये नदिया ये रहना और तुम बड़े अच्छे लगते हैं ये धरती ये नदिया ये रहना और तुम हम तुम कितने अरे यार मन तो ले आखू तू खाली रिकॉर्डिंग कर हेलो दिस इज राकेश एंड काश्मीरा इन जडार सिटी क्रोएशिया ब्यूटीफुल कंट्री ब्यूटीफुल प्लेस एंड ब्यूटीफुल डे टुडे एंड ऑस्पिशियस डे टुडे वी कॉल इट दिवाली दीपावली द डे ऑफ सेलिब्रेशन ऑफ लाइट एंड वी वर जस्ट थिंकिंग अबाउट द पीपल हु हैज़ ब्रॉड लाइट टू अवर लाइफ एंड वी वर जस्ट सो ग्रेटफुल to people like you because uh, in our life lot of people have brought lights and that you we shine because of you ashmira you want to say something happy diwali to you with full of uh, light in your life exactly yeah you know uh, there are there are people uh, we were in complete darkness and they brought the light in forms of a candle light it might be small light but that was all we needed then there are when we were uh, we needed some focus some people uh, brought us just a laser beam like light and uh, we were able to focus and then we needed a big flooded light and some people brought that that light some people brought sunlight and uh, some people uh, brought light through the prism and it fill our life with uh, basically uh, full uh, uh, rainbow colors some people brought like directly and some people brought light indirectly like either they were the source and they directed the light through somebody else or uh, they basically uh, passed somebody else's light to us so you have played a direct or indirect role in our life and we acknowledge that we appreciate that and we are really thankful to you for that for bringing that light in our life and so on this uh, auspicious occasion of uh, festival of light the diwali 2018 we want to thank you from bottom of our heart for being that shining light in our life and filling our life uh, with light and we shine because of you and we thank you for that so we are signing off from sadar city uh, croatia europe and here is rakesh and kashmira have a great diwali very happy diwali Hello this is uh, Dr Rakesh and uh, Kashmira we are at Zadar city in Croatia it's one of the unique musical instrument this is called uh, C organ you can see the hole basically these are the pipeline that goes inside the ocean there is a ocean here you can see that Kashmira is sitting next to the ocean so the pipeline goes inside the ocean and with the waves of the ocean it produces the sound i'm going to stop talking so you can hear the sound from here
So you see those holes from there, the sound is coming. So it's a sea organ. I think that's the only one of its kind in the world, the sea organ. So I thought you would like to know about it. Hello, this is Rakesh in Kashmira in Zadar city, Croatia in Europe. Celebrating Diwali 2018, uh, the, the festival of light. And we were thinking about people, we were actually talking about people uh, who has uh, filled our life with light and you are one of them. So wanted to uh, thank you personally for this. Uh, and Kashmira would like to say a few things. Here is Kashmira. Very happy Diwali to you, 2018. Yes, and you know, uh, this is a festival of light. And uh, we were thinking about uh, how people have come to our lives and filled our lives with the light. You know, there were times when we were in a total darkness and somebody came with uh, light, which may be just uh, candlelight, but that was all we needed. There were times when we needed some focus and some came with a laser beam like light. And uh, there were times when we needed a flood of light and some came with a full sunlight. And sometimes uh, we were so agitated and so we needed a light of a moon and some came with that moonlight. And uh, sometimes we needed uh, some colors in our life and some came as a prison and uh, got that uh, light uh, that converted that uh, ray of hope into a uh, full uh, rainbow to our life. So you are one of those people who has brought light to our lives. And we really appreciate that. Thank you very much for being that part of our life. And you know, we shine uh, right now, me and Kashmir feel so blessed in our life. And uh, this is a time to uh, say thanks to people like you who has uh, brought uh, those rays of hope and those light to our life. And uh, on this uh, auspicious day of Diwali, we really thank you from bottom of our heart. Uh, while in Croatia, we are thinking about you and wanted to send this special message to you uh, that you're always in our heart and you will always be in our heart. Okay, thank you. Happy Diwali and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Okay, bye-bye. Very happy Diwali too, again. Bye-bye.
Here is another view of uh, Dubrovnik. Hey guys, uh, this is uh, Rakesh and uh, Lydia. Actually, we are uh, right in Dubrovnik uh, Main Street. Uh, this is where uh, the movie Fan was shot. Not the whole movie, but part of the movie. And I was, she is uh, my tour guide and I was talking to her about it. And she kind of remembered uh, being shot in 2015. So I'll let her introduce herself and say a few words. Yes, so hello, I am Lydia. I am a tour guide in Dubrovnik. And I am happy to tell you that the famous Bollywood movie called Fan was filmed here a couple of years ago. Uh, all the locals were excited about it uh, and tourists of course and since then we have more and more Indian tourists <laughs> yes. visiting our city and we are very happy about it. Yes, a lot of Indians never knew, didn't know about the Croatia before yeah. the movie but uh, now people know about Croatia yeah. and obviously with this video you guys will know about Croatia and you know next time you come and see Lydia she's an awesome guide. Thank you and, so much. And she gave us a tour of the whole uh, old town and it was an awesome uh, weather, uh, awesome location and we really enjoyed it. So thank you, thank you Lydia for You're this video. Well. Okay, okay, bye bye. Bye. One point but then you need to continue to film another one to conclude the scene. Now at this point obviously Warlock has been thinking, yes, I have won the day, the dragons are mine, but at next point, Danny, she's gonna use some good old Pokemon training and she's gonna order the dragons to do some nice Dracarys and Warlock is gonna end up as one of the first persons being burned by the dragon fight. Speaking about the Bokar Fortress here, this fortress is also gonna be used during your preparation for the Blackwater Bay battle. You remember that one? Mm -hmm. Here we're gonna get on the small terrace between the cannon and the entrance, Tyrion and Joffrey having a discussion. Joffrey is inquiring about Stannis Baratheon. I heard that Stannis has a smile. I'm going to use my sword and carve out a nice smile on top of his Well, you know that has not been the truth because when the whole battle started, the first thing that the little fella is going to do is going to run to his mother's curse. The whole responsibility. Hey everybody, this is uh, another view of the same Dubrovnik town. We are on the St. Uh, Lawrence Fortress. Obviously, this is a location for a train movie. You can see the city behind us. But this is also uh, the location for uh, Game of Thrones, HBO series, very famous. Game of Thrones, Robin, Robin Hood movies shot here. And uh, part of the Star Wars is also shot here. So beautiful place. This is a uh, uh, fortress we are standing at. And there is a Dubrovnik city right behind us. It's just a few meters away. And then this is Adriatic Sea. You can see the whole uh, ocean right here. Beautiful. And there, there's a uh, Croca Island uh, right there. A lot of movies shot there. And you can see a beautiful uh, view right there. I'm just trying to raise my selfie stick as much as I can. So there's a town again. The water is so clear. Yeah, water is transparent. Everything. Yeah. Beautiful place. Oh, no. Ah. <laughs> awesome weather. So here is the Adriatic Ocean right behind me. And this is the main entrance of the city to Rome. Welcome to Pakova Selo. Is this the first time Croatia for you guys? Yes. 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 Uh, coming to Dalmatia, I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad that you are here. It's an honor for us Dalmatians to have a guest in the uh, uh, at home. And uh, I said to each and every one of you, please take a minute of time, but do not drink yet. You never know what I'm giving you, okay? Yeah. You're, inside, ma'am. You're still alive. Everything good, okay? So what I have here for you is our traditional maraska cherry liquor. It tastes fantastic but why i said please do not drink it is because the tradition is when we have a guest at home we drink one together and then we stand firmly on our feet everyone stable yeah. very good shoulders back dummy inside 90 degrees in the elbow a nice smile on your face very good and how do we say cheers in croatian Molem. No, zivili, 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 zivili. <laughs> we say zivili. Zivili. zivili and when we drink it we drink it all the way down welcome Guys and she believes. Wow.
Mm, how do you like it? Good. Good. Oh, I'm glad you like it. Surprisingly good, huh, sir? Good. Guys, you cannot drink it all the way down? You yeah, I have to take time. Not a problem. I have a couple of information for you guys. I have the insider information that you're hungry. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Very hungry on a scale from 1 to 10? 11. <laughs> Normally I talk here for three hours, but I'll try to keep it short, two and a half. <laughs> Important information, guys. Uh, please listen. So the restrooms, ladies and gentlemen, coming to the countryside. And we talk here and, and serve food the way it was some hundred years ago. Here I have to make sure that you understand that the old-fashioned toilets are three kilometers that direction. Right? <laughs> and I also have the modern one on the right-hand side over there. I will take you to the restaurant. Before we come into the restaurant, you will see one big book of impressions. Please write in at the end what was good or if anything was not good. We read your comments and they are very important to us. And food is finally coming in a couple of moments. What we have prepared for you is our traditional peka. This is a special way of preparing the food under an iron casted lid. So you will have chicken and pork with potatoes and salad. If there is anyone who does not eat chicken or pork, let me reassure you we make two separate pekas. The meats do not touch. So no worries about that. And one more thing so that you know when we are already in the restaurant, the drinks at the tables are not included in the, uh, um, in the service, so to say. So there is a variety of wine. Uh, we have Pepsi Coke. We have apple juice, water of different uh, different kind. Only two kinds, sparkling and non-sparkling. Okay. <laughs> there is beer, uh, uh, coffee, tea, and different kind of shots. Okay. I hope you will like the meal. I will kindly ask you to leave the empty glasses on the tray and let's go and work. What do you? We are walking down to the restaurant, the countryside restaurant. Yes, guys, that's the countryside restaurant you see behind us, and all the fellow travelers are walking towards the restaurant. Come, 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 come. You know, um, something. No, it's apparently not from us. No, it doesn't look like our goods here. Wait, we even lost money. I will put this here. Look, here is your money. Okay, here are some more papers. And uh, the garbage is all there. Oh, it feels so good. I love this kind of work. This is traditional. Yeah, I have three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y